Ball down the left-hand side for Zayec. Goes through the legs of Harrison Reed, but Martina was there to clear up. Ripple of applause from the fans inside the stadium. Probably a good two and a half thousand of them here tonight. Ball down the line was looking for the captain, Mahoto. Sam McQueen just battling there. He's lost it to Zayec into the penalty area. Zayec shoots just past the post. It's another opportunity for FC20. They've had two now. And again, the same outcome just past that far post. For Southampton's last two matches, Sam McQueen looking to get forward. He's done really well there. Charlie Austin was offside. Instead, Zayec will get on his bike for FC20. Good recovering challenge from Pierre Hoiberg. First chance for Van der... Here is FC20's captain Makoto. Van der Lely. Zayec somehow managed to go past two Southampton players. He's looked pretty decent in these opening 20 minutes or so. Ball into the penalty area. Here is Zayec. Four pass from him this time. Zayec is beaten to it by Sam McQueen and Sam McQueen will get the free kick as well. Makoto again. Ball played forward, looking for Zayec. He's onside, he'll get the ball towards the back post. And there, and Sam McQueen. The midfield is Pierre Hoiberg, Jordi Klasi, Harrison Reed, and Dushan Tadic. And then it's Charlie Austin and Jay Rodriguez playing as a front two. I think it's just playing the ball around, a little bit com confident. With three minutes left until half time then. Plenty of height in the in the box for the delivery of Zayec. Ball in and cleared away by Maya Yoshida. And Harry Reid will make sure ball played forward into Oosterweich. Now a shot comes in from Zayec. He'll pick the ball up again. Zayec's cross is blocked. Now for another throw on that far side. Yoshida gets the flick on Zayec with the shot and it was blocked by a Southampton defender and behind it goes for a corner to FC20. A real chance there for Zayec, he's their danger man. And in the end the defender got a block in to stop it troubling Harry Lewis. But there will be a corner for Southampton to deal with right at the end of this first half. We're into stoppage time. Zayec's delivery, the header away from Sam McQueen. Ready for the second half? And indeed, we are underway here at the Sports Park Vonders. And immediately it's FC20 over halfway. Ball drilled into Zayec. He was probably their brightest player early on in the first half. Created a couple of good opportunities. He's on the ball now. Zayec with the shot, well over Harry Lewis's crossbar. Made one. Harry Reed and number 35, for substitutions. Zayec plays the ball forward. That's a good run down the inside right. And Oosterich was in. Nice play by Nice play by Z Ball over the top, route one. And Harry Lewis comes out and gathers that. Oriel Romeo takes charge of ball over to the far side to Zayec. He hasn't seen the ball in a good few minutes, but that's a good delivery. And Jack Stevens had to deal with that because there were two. It's going to be Zayec with the corner. Harry Lewis comes out, doesn't quite get there, and the shot is into the net, and FC20 do have one back. Hugo. 
Over to the far side, it's Zayec. By far the most potent player for FC20. has been at the heart of a lot of their... To a vest down the line. He's the one making the run down that far side. His delivery towards the back post. FC20, the first goal that Southampton have conceded on Dutch soil in recent times. We played three pre-season matches here last season, didn't concede a single goal. Then we played Vitesse and won 2-0 in Holland, 5-0 on aggregate. And of course we didn't concede against PEC Zwolle on Saturday either. So that's the first goal that we've conceded in Dutch soil in quite a while. That stat comes courtesy of our kit man, Jamie Ireland, who took time out from playing Pokemon to come up with that one. It's going to be a corner to FC20 over on the far side. Into Teta Verst. Now back to Zayec. Up against Isgrove. He's gone down. Again, that looked like... Zayec is driving at Alfie Jones. And Jones is going to concede a corner there up against Zayec. So FC20 piling on the pressure at the end of this game. Simon Mulder, the referee, with a couple of things to, to do there. Could have given a foul against Lloyd Isgrove just a second ago. Didn't. Ball in towards the back post. And 